Hi guys, ultimately AC notification is out and I know most of the members might be demotivated as of now. And in this video, I'll tell you three things. First thing is why we have to prepare for this, how we should be opportunistic, first thing. And second thing is which set of people is supposed to prepare for this particular examination. I normally speak frankly only. And uh, third thing is how we should prepare for this examination. Now, if you think of, let us see the demotivating factors here. Less number of vacancies, that's true. In the sense, uh, they, have, uh, they have notified 200 plus more for DC seats. Out of that, for our electrical, we may get 40 to 50. 40 to 50 seats only, we may get from electrical point of view. And railways is not there, that's true. Okay, because this IRMS is neither included in civil, civil services nor included in this particular ESC also, that is true. And non-technical syllabus is not useful except for ESC, kind of if you think of project management and environment and uh, kind of ethics or drawing. Okay, all these things are not at all useful except for ESC. Kind of if you think of uh, polity, Indian polity, or uh, economy, or kind of geography, or kind of uh, modern history, means if you study that, maybe apart from ESC, like uh, those particular topics would be useful in other examinations also. But if you think of non tech syllabus, most of the non tech syllabus is not at all useful for uh, other examinations apart from ESC. That is true. And the lengthy process, yes, one year it will take. And the cutoff would be more this time. Why? Because number of vacancies are less okay one time i think in 2017 yeah in 2017 number of uh, vacant positions notified for electrical was around uh, 56 or 59 i don't exactly remember and in that in this particular year cutoff went high that was 257 in prelims so from this point of view the moment number of vacancies are less definitely cutoff is going to be increased now let us see one by one as opportunist because always we should think like an opportunist. Now, let us suppose 40 to 50. Yes, number of seats are less. That's true. But if you see, let us compare this with gate examination. If you see gate examination, means all the public sectors included. Means how many rankers up to how many rankers in general category they will recruit. Maximum 120 or 150. So top rankers of 120 or 150 maximum, they can get direct recruitment through all combined PSUs. Now, if you see this uh, 40 to 50 mark or in that kind of in general category, maybe 20, 25 seats may come. So that 20, 25 in ESC, definitely it is going to be significant only. Because we are in India, population is very high, opportunities are less. So, means we need not think, we, need, we should not go back to my time and we should not see like railways was there or kind of some other uh, means notifications were high and all. What can we do now? They notified only 20-25 posts for general category, most preferably. So, we have to prepare because even in gate examination also PSUs are reduced. Now, let us think of IRMS. If you think of IRMS or kind of railways, as of now in ESC it is not there. And fortunately, they did not notify RMS in civil services also. So definitely, they are supposed to notify in a separate exam. But can we prepare IRMS now? No, because we don't know the syllabus. We don't know the examination structure. So definitely, we have to wait for IRMS. We cannot do anything. Once IRMS posts are announced, I'll tell you one more thing. From last one year, railways didn't recruit anyone. Okay, at uh, class one category. So the moment IRMS come, in the first notification, number of jobs will be more or number of seats will be more. But we have to wait till IRMS come. Okay, we cannot fight now. Now, next thing is non-technical syllabus. Yes, uh, if you prepare for ESC, non-technical, this particular non-technical syllabus will not be useful except for ESC, that is true. But see, most of the, uh, what do you say, non-tech syllabus is static syllabus. In the sense, if you prepare for one year, you need not prepare uh, again for next year because it is static syllabus and it is easy. Ma maximum theory oriented stuff only. So for one year only, we are supposed to prepare this. Yeah, lengthy process, that's true. But to be called as class one officer, maybe one year is okay. Okay. And the cutoff would be more. Yes, it would be more because competition is high. We are in India. We cannot do anything. Okay. Now let us see. 
which categories of people are supposed to prepare for this? Whoever completed GATE, our GATE syllabus, and most of the GATE syllabus by now, they can start preparing for it. In my personal opinion, whoever are if fresh, whoever yet to start GATE preparation, or halfway done with GATE preparation, they are not supposed to prepare for ESC exam. This is my personal point, personal view. Okay. Now, if anybody prepared GATE already, if their syllabus is completed, and for example, if you think of tapas, okay, because uh, up to 150 rank, if we feel, then they might get public sector greater than 150 rankers or below 150 rankers also because this year our 20th ranker and uh, Abhijit Nemo, the 200 plus ranker also, they are preparing for ESC from since long back. Okay. Anyway, whoever got into more than 150 ranks, preferably they don't get public sectors from general category I'm telling you. So the moment they cannot get public sectors, they have to join in IIT. Okay. They have to join in IIT. The moment they have to join in IIT, anyway, IIT classes will not start now. So for the upcoming three months, you are free only, no? For the upcoming three months or maybe roughly 100 days. So these 100 days, if you can prepare, definitely you can clear prelims. And later we'll see about mains. Okay. And I'm going to tell you the strategy also, how to crack this particular examination or at least how to prepare for this examination, I'll tell you. Now, coming to the point, maybe for some guys, even though uh, they might have completed maximum portion of gate exam, they might have got maybe 8,000 rank or 9,000 rank. They also can prepare. Okay. Because one thing I'll tell you, once gate preparation is over, for this year, means uh, this year, like by this time, if you might have completed maximum portion of the gate syllabus, and then if you are planning for gate 2022, then also the moment you completed maximum portion of the syllabus, obviously this 10 months is not required for gate. So in that 10 months, definitely you can spend three months for your uh, ESC preparation, and remaining seven months or six months will be sufficient for gate examination. Okay, so personally, I prefer this particular uh, ESC examination should be attempted by uh, guys who completed maximum portion of the gate syllabus. Keep that, uh, keep that point in mind. Okay, next thing is how to prepare. Okay, the strategy. In uh, telling the strategy, first of all, we have to understand what is the difference between gate and ESC. Okay, if you think of gate, main focus will be on accuracy. Why accuracy is more important? Because they will give 65 questions for 3 hours, right? So the moment uh, 3 hours 65 questions only has to be solved, obviously they will give tricky questions, lengthy questions. And at the same time, means the moment you are getting more time to solve each and every question, the accuracy matters. You can spend some time. But if you think of ESE, Maybe if I think of paper 2 technical section, 150 questions has to be solved in 3 hours. Of course, uh, lengthy questions they don't give and problem oriented questions they don't give, but speed matters here. Because for each and every question, time availability will be much less. Okay, this point has to be remembered. And uh, next one more thing is, let us think of prelims and mains. Prelims strategy should be different and mains strategy will be completely different. Okay, of course, we are going to attempt prelims only as of now. But if you think of prelims, syllabus coverage should be very high. Okay, in this maximum portion of the syllabus, you are not supposed to leave maybe here and there one or two topics you may leave, but uh, maximum portion of syllabus has to be completed and it's a kind of shallow preparation. Okay, not in-depth preparation. Now, if you think of mains, in mains, in-depth preparation is required. Okay, so the moment it's a shallow preparation, kind of depth will be depth will be less, but width will be more. So because of that, you'll be able to complete syllabus in three months, provided you complete it at least maximum portion of the gate syllabus. So in mains, in-depth analysis is required. In-depth. Okay. Anyway, our focus is as of now with prelims only, and uh, along with prelims, what are the topics should be completed for mains? I will tell you next okay and the next thing is if you think of electrical cutoff electrical cutoff will be always high okay minimum cutoff will be at the final once prelims is over mains is over interview is over final cutoff will be always high for electrical we have to understand the reason because in final 
why we are getting uh, more score is because of maths and the problem oriented subjects like network theory and control systems signals and systems okay because maths uh, for our electrical only it is there in mains okay in all the paper paper one so because of maths obviously uh, score requirement will be high and the next thing is if you see the score okay in prelims so in prelims uh, I told you right in 2017 around 257 was the cutoff. So this year it, it has to be increased because the number of posts are reduced. So roughly we can think of 260 or 265. So in prelims cutoff can be 260. In this if we split it is not like gate exam. In, in gate exam if you uh, means uh, if you attempt for 100 marks topper will get 84 marks, 87 marks, 90 marks, some kind of that kind of stuff will not happen here. We have to understand that before starting the preparation. In paper one, non-technical. This particular paper is meant for 200 marks. Of course, 100 questions they will give. Out of the 200 marks, okay, out of the 200 marks, at least you should be able to get roughly 100 marks or minimum 80 because some people will be very strong in technical and can be very weak in non tech part. So, 80 marks to I can say 110 marks. 110 marks we are supposed to score in the non tech pattern. Now, if you think of paper 2, this is for minimum cutoff. Okay. In paper 2, we are supposed to get uh, 110, meaning that 150 marks to 180 marks. 150 marks to 180 marks we are supposed to score. And one more thing is like uh, prelims marks also is very much important because prelims marks will be included, mains marks will be included and also entry marks also will be included. So means if uh, you can score 300, 300 marks in prelims, okay, don't think that that is that much easy because in some subjects, okay, kind of uh, project management or environment, the moment environment is very new for us. Obviously, right? We are technical guys. So the moment environment is very new for us, definitely in some portions, some portions we cannot attempt. Okay. Now coming to the point. Again, let me come back to uh, this. Uh, yeah, speed. Out of hundred questions in paper one, don't think that uh, let us attempt sixty questions or fifty questions. No, no. You have to attempt as maximum as possible questions because most of the questions are theory only. You know. Okay, so try to attempt at least 90 questions in that, even if 20 questions go wrong or 25 questions go wrong, at least you would get 110 marks or 100 plus marks. Even in uh, paper 2 also, paper 2 also, number of questions will be 200, okay, sorry, 150, 150 questions for 300 marks, in that try to attempt at least more than 125. Okay, in the sense you have to speed up your representation. Okay, you have to speed up your representation because speed is very much important for ESC prelims. Okay, and yeah, and one more thing is uh, this is also important. This is offline paper. The moment it's offline paper, we have to bubble it, right? We have to bubble it on the paper, and that time is also crucial because the number of questions to be attempted will be more. So at least it will take 10 minutes of time. This is also crucial point only. Okay, and now, yes, so this is the difference between gate and IES and we have to properly train our mind because all competitive examinations are mind game. Okay, now let us think of in prelims one, paper one, mathematics. Mathematics is very crucial because even not only in prelims, in mains also. If you think of maths, in paper one, prelims you will get maths. In paper two, you are going to get maths because maths is very, very, very crucial and especially guys who are coming to ESC preparation from the background of diploma, they have to work on it. Okay. And here in mains, paper one also, this maths is there. And if you think of here, roughly 20 marks. And if you think of here, 20 to 24 in paper two, taking the paper uh, in other prelims and in the mains, roughly 100 marks will come. Okay, so altogether it's going to be 144 marks or 140 plus, which can decide your future in ESC. So try to focus more on maths 
because we can score more that's it now let us think of aptitude in a way you know, you know. and ethics because uh, my uh, target is our cracking ec prelims by using non technical means uh, studying non technical is cake work one thing and second thing is once you prepare for one year you need not prepare for next year provided syllabus is same because that condition is also there right now if you think of eth ethics uh, ethics is static syllabus if you study once it will be sufficient environment is also static but in environment means whatever the questions they are going to give for example if they give you 10 questions you will not be able to solve all 10 maximum 6 7 you will be able to make it now if you think of project management and one more thing is see here what is our minimum mark we are supposed to get in our prelims paper one non technical it is going to be 80 marks only right just now we have seen 80 to 110 in order to get 80 if you are strong in maths aptitude ethics environment project management you will get 80 marks okay and the material science also is very crucial because in mains also it is there okay now next coming to the project management is static and uh, math, uh, material science again is static and drawing and safety is static standard and the quality production quality in production that is related to mechanical engineers really so i recommend i recommend not to prepare this you can leave it now if you think of current affairs don't think that the moment it's current affairs it's a kind of civil services range and all no 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 maximum current affairs they will give from economy and again this economy is static again you need not prepare multiple times and if you think of uh, current affairs original current affairs also means preferably they will do dominating ones only okay dominating issues at present and you need not prepare this particular newspapers or kind of stuff till as yes, july 18th is the exam up to july 17th we have to watch news channels or we have to go through newspapers and all which is not required maximum up to april end till april end if you prepare it is sufficient because paper has to be prepared and it has to be uh, printed and printed copy should be ready so till april end if you can prepare uh, current affairs it will be sufficient and for current affairs one of the known organization is publishing quarterly current affairs so if you go through that it will be sufficient okay now next thing is see here if you have completed already the gate syllabus only four topics will be there and i'll tell you means how much time should be allocated to this particular technical part also non-technical part also i'll tell you see here computer fundamentals easy material science theory only and microprocessors we have to focus and communication we have to focus because at least microprocessors we feel that it's ours at least in btec we might have studied it of course though it is not there in gate but communications we feel aligned okay communications we feel kind of uh, it's not our thing but in the syllabus it is there we have to prepare and in communications mostly analog communications only will be there digital communication we need not focus much okay and then time allocation for a technical section you please give five and a half hours or uh, five hours five hours will be sufficient for these four subjects for these four subjects and uh, if you have left any gate syllabus part okay so for that you please dedicate five hours it will be more than sufficient okay now non-tech part in a sense paper one kind of 10 subjects are there no for those subjects don't think that you have to dedicate just by seeing number of subjects okay daily if you can prepare one and a half hour it is sufficient you know and uh, this is for prelims it's fine this is for 100 days if you can maintain it will be sufficient but beyond that prelims is not sufficient for us we have to uh, train our mind for mains also no so in order to crack mains the main subjects that is machines and power systems machines and power systems try to prepare from now only to the mains directly one and a half okay such that eight hours if you can prepare it will be sufficient okay why i am telling this is if maximum junk of syllabus can be prepared by completion by the time of completion of prelims only okay then <clears throat> remaining syllabus we can handle very easily for mains because for mains in-depth knowledge is required okay and uh, even in our uh, what do you say 
problems here, problem sets, our workbooks. We have given some, what they say, conventional questions also by keeping this particular thing only in mind. So at least start practicing machines and power systems daily one and a half hour to the conventional level. Now resources, this is very much important. If you think of OTS, we, we normally say that like kind of forget one source is sufficient. One source of online test series will be sufficient. But here, the moment uh, syllabus is so much having width, okay, the moment syllabus is so vast, if you take only one OTS, you may not be able to uh, get the complete idea because uh, my team might focus on one area, my other team might focus on other area. So OTS, you have to take multiple, uh, from multiple providers, you are supposed to take OTS, at least try to take two, okay. And now the next thing is, uh, what is, yeah, this is very much important, 3000 or 3500, actually I don't remember, 3000 or 3500, questions in general studies, questions in general studies, uh, one uh, publications released this, based in Delhi, so if you can take this, it will be very much important, such that uh, directly if you take up, because maximum theory only, you know, so within 5 days you will be able to complete this, but don't do that way, Directly try to do 100 questions per day. Easily you will be able to do. Because theory. 100 questions a day, so roughly it will take 30 to 35 days. Which will be sufficient. Okay. In this way, try to prepare. And uh, getting ESE. For strong mindset people only, it is possible. Because many times demotivation will come. Some means we have to motivate ourselves a lot. We have to push ourselves a lot all the time then only it is possible to crack ESC. We can crack till mains and till interview. Okay, very all the best guys.